And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your ledger and use the VeChain wallet. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to do, you know, the basic send, receive, VeChain. And also you can do some advanced stuff too, like set it up with your mobile wallet so you can observe your wallet, but you can upgrade it if you have enough VeChain to one of the nodes. So the first step is you need to get the VeChain application on the device. So what you want to do is you want to load up Ledger Live, like I've loaded up over here, and also you want to unlock your device. So just enter your um, pin to unlock the device. If you don't have the Ledger Live app, there's a link to download it just down below. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And then one thing you want to see is that if you have an old version, like I have right here, and this is for displaying purposes, you won't find the VeChain app. So it's actually not here. So what you actually have to do is you actually have to update the firmware on your Ledger Nano S. So now you're going to see on Ledger Live, it's going to be Ledger uh, firmware 1.4.2. Search it, VeChain. All right, just type VeChain there and you got it. So that's pretty easy. Click install the application and it should appear on your Ledger device over here. Click both buttons to go inside the app. Now, now that the app is loaded, how do you access your wallet? Well, it's going through this web page, which is vault.vforge.com. So once you load Vault, it's going to say launch wallet, getting addresses, and now voila, you got your V Vault wallet. Okay, now you're going to see all the currencies there. So quick explanation, V chain is V E T. So this is the kind of economic and the value store of value. And V Thor, V Tho is the gas on this network. This is used to power transactions. So every time you want to send something, you must pay with V Tho. The cool stuff is that you automatically generate V Tho if you store V chain. So if you just send some V chain and you leave it for a day or two, well, you're going to slowly accumulate the fall. So I'm just going to choose the first account over there. That's my address. I can just go on my phone and start sending myself some VeChain Thor. Hello, is this finance support? Give me CZ on a phone right now. What he's meeting the queen? Tell him this is important. Get him to send me some VeChain Thor right this moment. Ugh, finance people, you really got to push him. I'll show you guys very quickly how the send and receive works. So I'm just gonna send it to myself. So I'm, we have like five accounts here. I'm gonna send it from this account, the 0x255, and to here, the 0x657. So I'm gonna just copy that, send it, select the account which you wanna send it from, the to address, punch that in. I'm gonna send myself, let's see, maybe 100 vet. All right, so press the send button. You're gonna have to wait for the confirmation. So just go on your ledger and just confirm and check that here. So you can see in the transactions quite clear, you're sending away 100 VET. There's a fee and that's in VTHO, 31.54 VTHO, confirm. And voila, you're sent. You can open that in Explorer because VeChain transactions are very fast. And <laughs> it actually took literally a second for this to work. Now I'm gonna teach you some of the advanced features as well. So the advanced feature I'm going to teach you is how to set up an observe wallet. So what is an observe wallet? An observe wallet is something on your mobile phone. So you can take it on the go with you and you can scan or check out what's happening on your accounts. And the reason why you want to do this is because, well, if you're a paranoid and you want to on a go check your accounts, the other reason why you want to do this is if you want to upgrade your node. So that's the app. I'm also going to put the link down on the comment section below. It's on both iOS and Android right now. So it's pretty convenient. Just download it and we'll pop it in here. So I'm going to observe the first account over here. Click that. And then you're going to go and um, it's going to display a QR code on your screen. And on your phone, what you're going to do is you're going to go to manage wallets, import wallet, and then says observe wallet over here. So on the observe wallet, you're just gonna um, pretty easily use the scan button. It's gonna be tiny actually. So the, the scan button is actually here, it's really tiny. But scan, and then just go to your screen and screenshot it. 
um, ledger. Region. Now it's going to display your authorization code. So click the next button here. You're going to see on your mobile phone, there's an authorization code. So for me, it's 009983. Click the next button. All right, once you click the next button, you're going to have to click the on your ledger sign it. So I ask you to sign it on your ledger. Now you're going to be created with another QR code. So on your phone, go click on the camera, take a screenshot of that, verify the signature, and voila, finally, you are ready. That is done. All right, so now that it's set, we got this VFO set up here. Now you can actually also upgrade. So if you just want to look at this and you look, click rewards, now you can actually upgrade to a strength node if you have enough cryptocurrency there. So guys, I hope that teaches you guys how to use the VeChain wallet and all the steps and all the advanced features too. If you guys have any questions, if you're stuck at any point, feel free to come and just write on the comment section below. VeChain also has a very strong Reddit community. You can go there and ask some questions if you don't understand how to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I got other guides up here. If you guys want to know how to update the firmware, if you guys want to know how to use the new ledger live video they're going to be on the sidebars over here thank you guys so much for watching remember to share this video and i'll see you guys in the next one